Having a problem guys with how to price your electrical work? Well, don't worry. Electrical installation here is right here with you guys. Um, today I just want to do this video based on how to price electrical work. To actually teach you guys how to read a charge for electrical work. There are three ways in which, for me personally, I don't know if no one else has any opinion. If you have an opinion, please put it in the comment section and let us talk about it, discuss about it. And if you want to talk about it personally, my IG is right there. You can hit me up. Links in the description. But there are three ways to me personally where I charge electrical. One consideration pricing. Where you have a friend or so forth or you just look at a job and say maybe it value this but yeah you can work with this or something like that. Um, the other one is material pricing where every material you use you, there is a price for it which rarely used in domestic or everyday, mainly by electrical companies when they sub down work to you as a electrician. And the other one is points, where it's used mainly every day. It's the easiest way to actually sum up how much you can price a job for anything like that. So a lot of people have been questioning me about doing um, how you price work and so forth. For me, I'm just giving out a little bit, not a whole lot like you know but yeah if you want to have any personal question you can ask me on instagram or so forth where we can discuss something if you have a problem with how to price a job you can also hit me up as well but at the moment this is how we price electrical work and hope you guys just learned something from it and if you have anything to share with me you just share it with me um shout out emiko thomas for the shirt that he have been printing for me um i really enjoy them um you he, he want his brand to grow as well links in the description i'm gonna put it down right there so if anybody want have anything to print and so forth links in the description which the first one i'm gonna go into is consideration pricing like for instance you have a relationship with the owner for uh, a project and you're gonna help them out or you're just gonna do it in a favor is it or you actually can just look at it and say okay maybe that of value maybe five hundred thousand but you can actually charge three hundred or three fifty or four fifty it's a consideration pricing because you don't actually go off notes or anything like that you just basically just work with something that you satisfy with and one of the key one of the main objectives when you overtime your price in a work is to make sure you Come first, make sure you are satisfied with what you're pricing. Sometimes you're not going to always get what you actually think it worth, but sometimes you have to consider yourself first being satisfied with what you can um, get from it. Um, sometimes the clients make it difficult for you, sometimes the competitions in the area and so forth make it even difficult for you sometimes. Um, make sure you have to just work to actually make a living of it because especially in Jamaica where we don't really have a straight standard pricing and with the competition and so forth it's not like America where you go to someone else and you actually go with something written with notes and so forth and where you can show a person actually pricing this or so we don't really do that in Jamaica what we do we explain to people and so forth so one of the um, one of the three ways, ways of pricing electrical work is consideration pricing where you can actually do someone a favor or you can satisfy what you think the house is valuable or so forth and you can just make an assumption from that but make sure you are satisfied and also your job is done um, accurately as well and satisfying not that you're going to do it because you're going to take less money to do it so you um, job short or anything like that you have to put out the work because at the end of the day the work is what speaks for you so if you're not satisfied with what you're going to charge in terms of consideration pricing don't take the work if you're not going to do it to the best of your ability so as a friend how much would you charge me well as you as a friend where we work with over the years because basically we kind of work under the same umbrella where the hardware you actually work there and you actually help me get a lot of work as well you recommend me to other person and so forth so if you also follow like maybe a hundred and seventy thousand consideration price enough to come into that okay uh, yeah we cannot go all out and really charge you like the full extent okay 
you know and even in consideration pricing what i do in consideration pricing whenever i tell wall to cut and so forth if the person stand up on his own better for me and better for them as well because i don't really enjoy that part or doing that part uh, most time i pay people to do that so if you get the wall cut and so forth it work really much cheaper and if you ever get someone to assist me in terms of when we are pulling wires and uh, mix mortar and so forth when you are putting box you can get a big discount if you are 70 come off by one not second. bad not bad <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, so big up Tia, I don't know. She represents for the hardware or double construction, I don't know. Um but yeah. Mm. <laughs> the second one is material pricing. This is where the big companies make their money. In normality we don't really charge um based on material because when you get our especially a domestic house you're not going to really charge it by the material you're more likely going to charge by points or consideration pricing any material pricing mainly the electrical companies would actually do that where if you have a, they're doing like a villa or hotel or housing schemes or so forth they would sub down the work to the electrical um, electricians and give them a rate they have a rate sheet where they will actually tell how much they will price in the work how they price their work is by a list of things like for instance this is a roll of wire 2.5 millimeter they will actually you would actually see it on a sheet where it actually show you how much they pay for feet or how much they pay for the roll for you to use up the roll and so forth or if you're gonna install a plug um they pay you for one plug maybe like 200 300 dollar so there's not much really on it if you're gonna install like a, this kind of plug anything like that anything at all even a drywall screw once you are at um a pvc conduit once you're gonna install something um pertaining to electrical they would actually show you a price list where you know so in that case you have to work your butts off because um you would have to put in a lot of work to actually make a money and as i said before you can make money on of this but only on longevity if the work gonna go consistent for a period of time well you can actually make a money um but if it's a short period of time you're really not gonna make much because you would have to put out extra extra work um in material pricing this so that mainly go for the big companies in normal um, in, in regular pricing work or so forth like uh, domestic we don't really use materialists to really um price our work so that mainly go for the, the the companies as i said before they will give you a sheet a rate where they pay you so you to you how fast you can work and what you can do but you can make money off it because if you especially if they're using um 95 millimeter 120 millimeter wires and so forth to pull in main wires over distance you can make money off that you can make money off installing triple pole breakers and so forth uh, especially 600 and 400 um triple pole main breakers even 200 um doing that you can even make up to twenty five thousand of just installing a a a a, a, a triple pole 600 and breaker or 400 and that's why i said before in the points points are different you have certain things that as points you can actually charge for with a normal rate but there are certain things you cannot charge for as normal because a 600 amp triple pole breaker you can easily well get between 20 25 thousand you can charge for that or a 400 amp chip triple pole breaker so it's depending it's different just like house interest house interest have a price list which we let as legislation as chairman or whatever we don't really like the house interest works we do it but sometimes we do it based on the owner like the client because if we have a good relationship with a client then we will do it but we don't really i mean for me personally i can talk from my experience i don't really like take up house interest work because first they give you a set of, um plan that, that they, they want you to work from and actually a set price and the set price is way below to be honest they go to the lowest level so you know that, and sometimes things that they want to be done on that house I personally install a lot more things and things like that into it, so I go beyond. So that's why I don't really like take up those kind of works. But yeah, so that's it for the second one where we have the list uh, materialist pricing. As I said before, going to a domestic house, you cannot really bring that to a client or so forth. But 
those are our, our the big companies would actually pay you to do the project. As I said, you can make money off it and as well the company makes more from it. And the other one, last but not least, is points. Most legislators use to um, come up with a figure of how to price the other. And it's more, it, it's the easiest one, to be honest, um, for pricing. But in pricing now, um, in points, uh, there are factors about it. One, uh, you can use consideration into points pricing as well. And sometimes you can use points to actually come up with a figure how much you want to charge a person. But at the same time, you don't have to tell the person that you're actually charging by points. For instance, there's 100 points in this house. I can use it to get an idea of how much for, um, I will charge for the house without actually telling the owner. And I actually can take up something of it as well. So in points, you have to be considerate as well. The full extent for points is 6,000. Uh, there are certain projects when you take up, uh, especially like some villa or so forth, something big, you can take like 6,000 a point. A point is like a plug, a switch, a uh, breaker. Now, this is an example of points. This is a point right here. 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 But in electrical field, points, not all points are actually the same. Because there are some points where, especially in this one, this is a 200 uh, DP breaker. It may look like a triple pole, but actually it's a DP breaker. Where you would not charge the same price for that as you would have charged for one of these, like a 15 SP or a 20 SP. You would not charge the same price. So that's why I said the points and the price are different. So depending on what you're actually installing, what if you're installing a triple pole, 600 amp um, breaker or a 400 amp um, triple pole breaker? It could not be the same price as these. So as I said before, a point is you can charge. As I said, it can be reasonable. You have to, it can be reasonable. There are times when you can charge up to 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, um, even 3,000, depending on the client or the person that you're actually doing the work for. Um, as I was saying, even with this, this is a, nine, a 95 mm SWA cable. You would not charge any points to actually install those things. You have to charge by fee to be able to charge, maybe like 200 up to 300 dollar fee to actually install it. It cannot be priced the same as because it connects to the brake and then it connects to the meter. Then you're gonna have it as a point. No, you cannot have it as a point. So you have to charge it by the fee. Um, these are examples of a point. This is a point. This is a plug right here. This is a point. These are actually the same price in terms of points. This is not one point right here. This is actually five points right here. So, what if you charge four thousand dollars for each point? Five times four. Right here, you have twenty grand. So. It depending on how much you charge, as I said before, please guys, don't make it bad for other electricians to go that low. If you're doing a consideration pricing, well, that's different. But a lot of people are doing cheap charging for points way below just to get the work. I know the marketing is tough and so forth and the competition is out there, but please, you're making it bad for others. Not to say you should kill people to stick out on the highest point, but try your best to work with something where it is more reasonable guys right here we have a service main wire run under the ground this pricing is different as well we don't charge this by points some people would have charged this by points because you have the jaw box right there and then you have the pothead right up there earth rod also is a point but for me I charge those as a point and then I charge to run the underground main um, I charge by feet and mainly I don't really dig the ground to really run bear the pipes um, So if the owner for the house get someone to do it that would be much easier for them um, But if I have to do it I pay someone to really do that But for me to install my pipes yeah I charge by feet to run the main wires because You cannot just run it like that without charging for it 
Guys, even the service wire, it should charge by feet. 200 up to 300 dollars per feet. Uh, at one point they, they told me that you should charge by the amount of pole that you run and charge each pole by a point. Now nah, that don't really work out because if you're gonna run especially a triple knot two wire, it's different pricing that for running a number six wire. So you see where it makes sense charging by the feet. Um, to me, charging by poles to do that don't really work out. In consideration pricing, well, you could actually do that. But for me personally, if I have to run triple knot two or number two wire like that, those heavy duty wires, you have to charge by the feet. You know? It's not all points are actually the same points. And another thing that I want to talk about is when I was um, learning to gym, my instructor taught me that. Whenever time you're going to charge someone to do something, you should charge off the price of the material. That don't work. There is no such thing like that. For instance, you're going to install a, 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 a ceiling fan or a chandelier. And the ceiling fan will value $8,000. You should charge like $4,000. In case the equipment or the, um, get damaged, you can stand at least half of it. It don't work like that because once for instance, if I come here to install a, a socket, just a simple plug socket or support, it value maybe two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar. I'm gonna charge more than it to install it. You actually have to pay me for my time. My time could be three thousand dollar, five thousand, depending on where I'm leaving to get there. So, and one thing I'm to get in, I know a lot of you guys in the states are watching this video. This is not an American uh, pricing because I don't really know to the full extent. I think in America, I think once they go on a job to really look at it, even just to look at it, I think they present alone is maybe $100 thing or $80 US. I don't know the full extent in terms of pricing in America. So I'm just giving you locally how we price work in Jamaica. So if you guys have anything to discuss um, about pricing and so forth, in the states as so you can uh, you're free to voice your opinion on the channel but i'm just talking locally we are really just giving you locally so as i said before points is what we use mainly on a daily basis to really price our jobs and it make it more easier for us to price the jobs and so forth and as i said before there are ways there are rates in pricing where someone can charge you can charge six thousand five thousand four thousand even three thousand if you want um, I'm not going to give you links in the description if you want to know how I really price it. As I said before, I price work most time based on clients, how the people them work with you and so forth. That's how I really do it. And even wall cooking is different in terms of pricing when you're doing points work. Because I'm not going to cut the wall. Cutting the wall is not adding to the points. You have to charge for the wall cutting differently. <coughs> Hundred and fifty dollar a foot or two hundred dollar a foot, depending. So that is different as well. Hopefully, you guys learned something from this video. A lot of people have been asking um, for me to do this video and so forth. So I just doing it to for you guys. I mean, for me personally, I price work different and so forth. I don't have problem with that. I know how to price my works and so forth, and I. I price my work sometimes even based on the client. When sometimes you face some people just by the words coming out of their mouth, you know where their ideas are, you know who they're thinking already, you know they're gonna cry, you know they this person not gonna really he just want the work to be done and done the best way and so forth. So until next time guys, stay safe, get your installation chicken.